Hey, we're here again with my friend Joseph Ware. Uh, Joseph, Joseph is multi-talented. He's been doing some hitting uh, demonstrations with us. So now uh, our next venture is to do some, some pitching stuff. Uh, so the, the goal of a pitcher is to uh, disrupt a hitter. Uh, pitching is much easier to do, Joseph, Joseph, than hitting is because you control the baseball and you control where it goes. As a hitter, you can't control where, how, what speed it's going and where the location is going to be. And you've got to make a lot of um, decisions on how you're going to approach hitting the ball. But baseball, uh, pitching, is the ball is in your hand. So would you, what would you rather do, Joseph, pitch or hit? Pitch. Pitch, yeah. If you're, uh, usually guys that are analytical, that are smart uh, in math and science, they usually make pretty good, uh, good, good pitchers. Uh, pitcher's rate of failure is a lot less than a, a hitter's rate. So we're going to take you through some mechanics, fundamental drills to get him to the pitch and rubber. Uh, so we're going to talk a couple of things to you. So uh, if you would get down first, get down on the knee, Joseph. Get down on the other knee. And then pick your right knee up. There you go. Good. So we're going to look from the, the upper half of the body. Uh, most people, when they teach pitching, work from the, the ground level all the way to the toss. We're going to work backwards where we're going to work from the toss, get a lot more reps on the actual toss of the baseball, the throwing of the baseball versus the start of the, of the stance. So first thing I want you to do, Joseph, is that uh, a drill where we're going to get your throwing arm up. I'm going to ask you to put it in the L. We're going to get your glove here. Put it down. And I want you to lean back. And then you're going to come forward, bring your glove, turn your glove over, over the front foot, and then you're going to deliver the baseball nice and easy. So keep your glove firm over the front foot, over the knee. Keep it firm. Don't let it come back to your chest. Keep it firm. So you're going to do that by keeping your, your chest a little bit uh, tight. And you're going to take your chest out in front with your, your head up right here. So let's see how we do here. This is a one knee drill. And what we call is a reverse L's. But um, get in that position, Joseph. Right, get that glove elbow up. Alright, good. So I want you to lean back and give me a nice easy toss. Nice, alright? When you toss, I want you to finish with your chest out in front. And I want you to knock me down right now, but I want you to get in that position like you're going to knock me down. Reverse L's. Nice. Nice job, Joseph. So if you notice, glove arm is up. Straight across here. Throwing arm is up here. He's working backwards. Get some uh, kinetic chain. He's going to bring the glove up, stabilize it over the front knee, and then he's going to go to his, go to his glove right there. All right, throw a couple more, Joseph. All right, make sure you start, go back first before you come forward. Use that kinetic chain that links you up to the ground. Finish, all right? Finish this time with your chest over your front knee. Nice, good job, all right? So the next drill we'll do in progression is he's gonna do this same drill, except he's gonna put his hands together. All right, he's gonna turn his shoulders, just like he does when he's pitching. He's gonna put his elbows down. So he wants his glove facing second base right here. He wants his hand in his glove where he can hide the baseball. So when he takes the ball out of his glove, he's gonna take it out of the bottom of his glove. So his thumbs are going to come together here, and then his elbow is going to come up, and then he's going to do just what he did where he's going to stabilize the glove over the front foot, and he's going to deliver the baseball with the chest over the front knee. So hands together, elbows down, elbows down, good. All right, so we finished up uh, uh, reverse, reverse L's where we've got one arm uh, down and one arm up. And Joseph is um, stabilizing his glove over the front foot, and he's going to his glove with his chest up at the finish. So the next drawing drill is similar, except we're going to add another step to it. So this time we're going to ask Joseph to put his hands together and get his hands around his chest, put his elbows down. Okay, so he's going to put his head on the front shoulder. So what he's done is he's turned his shoulders here. He's going to break his hands out of the bottom of the glove, 
his hand is going to stay on the base, top of the baseball. And this time, when he brings his, he breaks his hands, his thumbs are together, and his elbows are coming up. So his elbow is dominant in getting his hand up. A lot of times you'll see, uh, especially young kids, when they break their hands, then they just bring their hands straight up. What we're going to ask Joseph to do is to be elbow dominant and let that elbow get the hand up. Not let the hand get the elbow up. So we want your elbow, Joseph, to get your hand up. And then you're going to stabilize that glove over the front foot and come towards it just like you did in the other drill. Get your chest over the front. And All right, do it at one time, Joseph, without throwing. All right, ready? Break your hands. Boom. All right, go faster this time. All right, Joseph, when your hands are together, don't chase your glove hand here. Just break them right, right down the middle like you're breaking an egg. All right, let's see you one time. Nice, nice. Now stabilize that glove over the front foot when you break your hands, and then go to it. All right, one more time. All right, don't chase it. Don't chase it. All right, throw me a couple. Joseph, demonstrate how you do this. So his knees killing him. Nice. Now get that chest over the front knee this time, Joseph Force. Good. Now keep your shoulders closed. Close your shoulders. Good. Nice job, Joseph. All right, stand up. So we had a uh, knee drill. We had reverse L's. We had a knee drill uh, where he closed himself off. Now we're going to do double knee drill. So Joseph, I want you to get on two knees. Face me here. Face Tyser here. All right, so I'm going to give you the baseball. I want you to turn your shoulders. Close your shoulders off. So put your hands together. Close your shoulders off. Put your elbows down. Good, good. You're going to break your hands, and then you're going to break your hands, get your elbow up. Okay, and then you're going to deliver the baseball to me over here. Put your hand on top of the baseball, Joseph. Break your hands like you're breaking an egg. Let your elbows get your hands up. All right, here we go. Nice. Get that chest over your front knees without turning your body. Stay closed and turn. All right, get that chest out. Chest out and up. Chest out and up. Nice. Chest over and up. Nice. There you go. Good job. You can fall down. It's fine. All right, stand up. So this is the fourth drill. Uh, this is the first one we stood up on. So Joseph, we're going to go back to what we've already done, except we're going to put our, our legs in it. All right? So I want you to do uh, like you did in the first knee drill. Uh, put your left foot out in front, put your right foot behind, point in the same direction, just like if you were on your knees. Put your foot down. Yes. Spread out your left foot a little bit more. Good. And here's the ball. All right, remember the drill where we did reverse L's? You got an L here and an L there. Good. This time I want you to lean back. And then as you come forward, I want your glove to come up. Your hand's going to come up and you're going to deliver the baseball. Okay. All right, do it for me one time without throwing. Back. All right, put a little more into it. Come on. All right. And when you finish, I want that foot to come up off the ground. All right, hold up. Starting position is good. Good, Joseph. That'll do it. Glove over the front foot. Stabilize the glove. Go back, and then you're going to toss it. Ready? Go back, toss. All right, get that chest over the front knee. Chest up, get your glove over the front knee. Good. You don't step. Spread your feet right apart. Good, nice job. All right, 
This time, the same drill we did on the knees, except we got our le legs into it, Joseph. Put your back foot straight ahead. Put your stride foot at 45 degrees out here. And guys, the reason you want the stride foot at 45 degrees is uh, not like for hitting because of your eyes, but uh, it keeps your knee on the inside of your foot. You don't ever want your knee on the outside of your foot when you're throwing. So that helps stabilize the place that you put your foot each time. It gives you an opportunity to deliver the ball well. So a couple things in this drill, Joseph, is uh, we can teach uh, control. And we teach control by two things. Number one is by our, our head. Okay, our head determines if the ball goes, we miss from side to side. So you always want your head on the target. Put your head on the target. Try not to lean one way or another, which you might naturally do a little bit, but try to keep your head on the target. So every morning when you get up, Joseph, you should always have a target. Your head should be on where you're going. A lot of times we get distracted by things that get in our way, video games or um, things that we play with that, that we have fun with, but sometimes they become idols and become more important than what you're going after. So every morning when you get up, Joseph, you should be going after something. And one of the things we also always should be pursuing is, is God. We're not pursuing God because of His love, because He already loves us. We can't pursue Him to get Him to love us more, but we pursue Him because He loves us so much in return that we want to pursue Him. The Bible says as we get uh, uh, near to Him, He gets near to us. So even in pitching, Joseph, God cares about, because He designed you, He gave you gifts, talents, uh, gifts, talents, and abilities to give back to Him. So schoolwork is important. There's a lot of things that are important, but uh, one of the things he gave us was a gift that he gave the ability to you to do. So uh, in our pursuit of him, uh, we're trying to figure out the mysteries that God put inside of us. So we're going to do that right now. But we want you to get in that position, back foot, front foot. This time you're going to close off your shoulders. All right, point that foot at me a little bit. Get a little bit wider. Good. Open your foot. Good. Nice. So now you're going to close. You're going to break your hands like you're breaking that egg. Get those elbows up. All right. You're going to stabilize that glove over the front foot. Now you're turning that back foot. Turn the back foot, Joseph. Good. Nice. You're going to stabilize that glove. Keep that glove where it is. You're going to go to the glove with your chest up. All right. And after you finish, Boom, pick that back foot up, lean over, pick that back foot up, lean over, Joseph, lean over, Joseph, get your head up, I got you, right there, <laughs> all right, position you're trying to go to. All right, Joseph, step out there, all right, put your hands together, all right, so start here, then turn, start out in front, start out in front, then turn, and then you're going to flip. Start out front, turn and throw. All right, nice, nice. All right, remember, don't step the drill, because you might need to get your feet wider apart. Nice, nice. All right, throw it a little bit harder, Joe. Head. Head controls the ball side to side. Your glove determines if the ball is going to be high or low. So while hitting, there's lots of adjustments. Baseball pitching is pretty simple. The head determines if you're left or right, unless the pitcher flies open, unless the front elbow comes out and he'll be high or she will be high arm side throwing the ball. Okay, and the glove. If it's too low and my chest is low, the ball is going to go in the dirt. If my glove is too high and my chest is high, the ball will go high. So pretty, pretty easy to figure out. All right, Joseph, we're going to let you go through the pitch and delivery right now. I'm going to teach you to you in a hurry. All right? So I want you to turn sideways. So guys, those are throwing drills to get ready to deliver the baseball. If you can't throw, you can't pitch. You got to learn how to throw first before you learn how to pitch. So Joseph, here's the, um, here's the baseball. Feel like you're on a pitching rubber. 
All right, so you're going to put your foot on the rubber. All right. I want you to stand with your other foot about shoulder width apart and put your hands together. Okay, this time I want you to pick your front leg up as high as you can, your front knee, and I want you to take it up as high as you can towards your back shoulder. Get it up as high as you can. Good. Nice. Turn your head towards the target. Alright, so that's the first thing you do. Do that again. Bring your leg as high as you can. Good. Do it again. Bring your leg as high as you can. Good. Bring your leg as high as you can. All right, now get your eyes on that target when you do that. Do it again, Joseph. Nice. All right, this time, after you bring your leg up as high as you can, I want you to step out as far as you can, but keep your head over your shoulder. I don't want you to do this. Okay? I want you to try to stay back, but step out as far as you can. Try to keep your head over your shoulders when you step. You know, does that make sense? You understand that? Head over your shoulders as you're stepping out. All right, let's check you out here, bud. As high as you can, step out as far as you can. All right, again, step out further. Don't worry about throwing right now. Step, step out further. All right, I want you to see how fast you can put your foot down and stride out as far as you can. All right, so here's the rules. Leg lift as high as you can. Step out as far as you can. Put your foot down as fast as you can. All right, so I want you, usually want you to get it up, I want it out and fast. All right, here we go. Nice, all right, step out further. Nice, step out further. All right, pick your leg up higher this time. High as you can. Nice. All right, now lift that glove, do what? When you break your hands, when you break your hands, stabilize the glove where? Over the front foot. So when you break your hands, you get your glove out here. All right, then as you throw it, I want you to go to it. Get your chest going to your glove. All right. All right, go again fast. High as you can. Better. Again, how's that feel? Nice. One more time. Ah, you didn't pick your knee up that high that time. You feel it? How does it make it feel when I say you didn't do it right? Does it make you feel bad? I don't, I don't make it. Baseball coaches are a lot like they're looking for perfection. You know, when you do it wrong, it's like, uh, you're doing a lot of things right, Joseph. You're doing great. You're right, bud. Here we go. Nice. All right, throw me a couple. All right, nice. Step out further. Get up higher. Step out further. Nice. That's much better. You see the velocity go up? thing we're going to do, we're going to turn you into a pitcher. So we've done all these fundamentals for this moment, Joseph. Okay? So this time I want you to cross your feet over. Uh, if you're going that way, the concession stand, cross your feet over. Put your left foot over your right foot. Left foot over your right foot. That's your right foot over your left foot. There you go. Good. Now hold the ball. Good. Alright, I want you to do this with your hip. Okay? I want you to turn it in. Turn it in. Okay. So okay. those things perfect. Any of these a little bit? Good. Alright, I want you to do exactly the same thing you just did. Alright? So you're gonna pick your leg up as high as you can. Step out as far as you can, put it down as fast as you can. Alright, do it without throwing. There we go. Nice job. How's that feel? Good. Feels pretty good, alright? So it's a crossover. So he's preset his hip, preset his hip, so he's already loaded up. So what we're trying to do is trying to get the kinetic chain out of the, out of the ground into his legs, 
through his back and then out through his arm. So we're trying to get everything to work at this time. So this posture teaches him how to do that. So cross over again. All right, make sure that foot plank is on the pitch rubber and it's pointing straight ahead. Good, nice, nice. You have any All right, go. Boom, right there, right there. All right, why don't you throw me a couple, Joseph? all of this session on uh, the pitching delivery right now the mechanics the build up to get to it and uh, uh, we can show you a full wind up but I would stress that uh, young kids up until probably uh, fifth or sixth grade should throw out of a out of a stretch uh, but they're not losing velocity because the leg is coming so high so thanks to my friend Joseph for uh, uh, demonstrating today uh, Joseph is a a fine young man, his uh, guy is giving lots of talent to the building, giving him a great body. He has created him for, uh, for greatness. So part of what I do as a coach is try to see what's in there and how to go out there and get it. So there's, each young man or each lady is a little bit different. So as a coach, I've got to use a toolbox to trying to figure out what, motiva what motivates and what helps them uh, do things for, for God's glory. Thank you all until next time.